Hi. I have a barrel aged out from Hill Farmstead. Madness and Civilization. Yes, Madness and Civilization. I think this is number 12. It's the one that was bottled March 13th, 2019, and released like a, I think the week before or the week of um, 4th of July. That's when I bought it. Haven't had it yet. <clears throat> it's probably around 10% alcohol. They don't list it, but I think maybe it might be lower because it's a, a blend of Genealogy of Morals, which is their Imperial Coffee Stout, and Barrel Aged Everett. Everett is their porter that's only like seven, around 7%. Um, but they blend those together and then age them on coffee and cacao, Guatemala, both from Guatemala. Um, coffee beans and cacao, or the coffee's from the Coffee Collective, which is uh, Danish. <clears throat> So this is aged in bourbon barrels, and that's it. I don't know exactly how long. I guess it's a blend, and they used two different um, bourbon types of bourbon barrels from different distilleries. So let's do it. I'm wondering if this is going to be kind of a pastry type, very sweet experience with the coffee and the chocolate. Ooh, that smells interesting. Got a big whiff of bourbon. Yes, it is quite fresh. They do say to drink within six months of the release. And I'm currently about, I guess, two months away from the release. And that looks real dark and thick. Not um, a huge amount of carbonation in head, like some of their other stouts I've had recently were a little bit more carbonated, but you don't need a huge amount of carbonation in a big stout. At least that's what I think. And the head on this is like really, really dark. So I'm feeling like this is going to be a very roasty, thick beer. Oh, the bourbon is explosive right now. I have one other bottle. I'm already thinking that I should probably age it a little bit to, I don't know, let the bourbon mellow out because that's like huge. Like you can smell it across the room. Wow. It smells good though. It's got lots of coconut notes. Dark chocolate mounds bar. Getting a little bit of booze. Oh, yeah, definitely so, so bourbony in the smell. I, I guess I can kind of get some some real roasty cow nibs and mixed in in there. And some coffee notes, but I'm surprised how little coffee I'm getting because then a lot of these big coffee stouts, like the coffee comes out explosively because of all the roasty flavors that already are coffee-like and from the beer, but the bourbon's just dominating this. And I don't even think it's like aged two years or anything, because I had a, it wasn't Civil Disobedience, that, that's not their stouts. Some other stout from them, I guess it was a, I don't know, some other Nietzsche one. But that one, it was like not as bourbony, it was really big on the coffee, I guess now I'm getting used to it a little bit. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. The chocolate comes out in the flavor a lot. Not syrupy, th thick, and rich. I mean, it is very full, but it's not like drinking sludge. Really nice mouthfeel. Lindrous with lots of sweet, sweet mocha flavors. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, it's amazing how the aroma is, is very different from the, the flavor. Mm. Yeah, that's a pretty full, rich mouthfeel. It's all, almost silky, the kind of lower carbonation is making it feel pretty thick on the tongue. Getting some warmth in the throat but I'm not getting a lot of alcohol flavor and burn, even though it does smell a little boozy. I think it's just because it's so bourbony. Mm, I'm getting like sort of leathery notes. <sighs> kind of like a <clears throat> pipe tobacco. Yeah, after the first few gulps, now the aroma is changing. And it's, <laughs> this is a really good beer. Mm. 
it with the sort of thing you really want to roll it around on your tongue you get the whole chewy experience this would probably satisfy a pastry stout lover they might still say it's a bit thin though it is definitely not